Okay, I have received uh, many requests to do the stochastic uh, indicator. So, well, let's do that. Okay, uh, uh, this is like like you as as is usual. This is a series of videos. In the first video, I'm going to explain to you what the concept is. <coughs> Very important before you do any indicator. The stochastic is actually a momentum indicator, but it is not as versatile as the RSI. It is more, it is more uh, similar to you know awesome oscillator or MSCD that you will figure out by going forward but it is a good indicator it has got its own advantages and when it is combined with other indicators it can give you very good results okay so let's start let's understand this now this is your 14 period uh, high low and close right the period as you know can be anything it can be one minute it can be one month it can be one day you know about that okay um, so for, for uh, stochastic is set to 14 periods by default i don't uh, recommend ch uh, changing that because it's a tried and tested uh, system so here you can see you know in the first period the price is closed at 1090 and the in the 14th period the price is closed at 1090 1030 yeah, 1090 yeah. 60 rupees it has appreciated in between it has seen highs it has seen lows stuff like that this is just data right nothing for you to memorize out here or stuff like that just have a look okay now what the what does the stochastic formula do what it does is takes the current of the look back period that 14 period it takes the current close and from it it removes the lowest low of the period and divides by the highest high minus the lowest low so typically what it's doing is it's giving you the current trend it's telling you how much the current close differs from the lowest low and how does it look when it is averaged by the highest high minus the lowest low right so it the highest high minus the lowest low is a deflator i will explain to you you will understand with the example bear with me and the this is the percentage k this is called the percentage k then it calculates another value called the percentage d which is a three period simple moving average of percentage k okay now let's understand it a little bit more we know the formula you don't have to understand the formula you understand the concept and once you understand the concept when you look at the value of the stochastic you will be immediately able to tell what to do with it okay that's what's required so the current close as you can see is 1090 right the in this example the lowest low is 1015 okay um, and the highest high is 1100 okay so how to calculate the stochastic for this okay so close 1090 minus lowest low 1015 divided by highest high 1100 minus 1015 into 100 right we get it 88.23 right and the percentage d would be the three day simple moving average of percentage k right this is approximately it will be 82 to 85 because in the the previous days did not close so high it was below 1090 so it can be a little bit more it can be 86 also but that, that's not the point i'll come to the percentage d later on but for you it is important to understand that percentage d is a three day simple moving average of three not three day i'm sorry this is a three period it's a three period i'm i should kick myself for calling it day three period simple moving average of percentage k right so this would be in this case around 82 to 86 maybe now notice over here when the stochastic is 88 right there are two three things you must analyze from the lowest low the close is 7.3 percent higher see 1090 was the close 1015 was the lowest low so 7.5 percent it has oscillated i mean it's gone up right 7.3 percent right so the close is high and the close is very close to the highest high of 1100 
1100 minus 1090 is roughly around 1 percent roughly so from the highest high it is just 1 percent away from lowest low it is 7.3 percent higher therefore when you see a stochastic value of 80 88 or something like that know that that the price price is has appreciated quite a bit from its lowest low that's how you must interpret it okay one of the ways of interpreting it that is now let's take another example now let's say that it has the lowest low is 990 the highest high is 1100 and it has not closed at 1090 it has closed at 1000 in this case so what would be the stochastic the stochastic would be the close minus 990 divided by highest high minus 990 990 is the lowest low i'm getting 9.09 the three day simple move uh, three period simple moving average or percentage k would be roughly approximately 12 to 20 because the earlier closes were higher okay approximately can be anything now notice one thing over here when the stochastic is 9.09 .09, the what it says is the from the lowest low the price is just one percent higher okay thousand it has closed and 990 is the lowest low but from the highest high the price has fallen about 10 percent about 10 percent it is the approximates you know the thousand is the low the thousand is the close and 1100 was the high so roughly around 9.8 uh, 10 percent take it so when you look at at nine and uh, the stochastic value of nine it should immediately strike you that the current price the current close is far away from the high okay it's further down it's there is selling therefore when you look at a stochastic value how will you interpret it okay when the percentage k is above 65 there is a good amount of buying in the stock you would have understood this by now when it is between 50 and 65 there is some buying in the stock when it is below 50 and 30 there is some selling in the stock and when it is below 30 there is a lot of selling in the stock you can go through the examples again make your own chart your own and try to understand this indicator better because i'll go deeper into it in the next part i'll do the interpretation we'll move to percentage d also in the next part and we'll take it from there so thanks for viewing and bye